What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So today we are going to be doing some Rift bosses. Uh, unfortunately, one of them is Griffin, our most hated one. So that means we got to stock up on pots for a bit. And let me sell these things real quick. So how are you guys doing? What are you guys doing in BDO these days? I heard tomorrow we're getting the Koi event again. So, or well, today, when you guys see this video, I guess. I don't know. Let's, let's buy like 80 potions, probably, because we're going to use all of them. Alright, so, yeah, we got three of them today. Two in comma, and one here. Overall, though, I've just been... It's been pretty slow, hasn't... There hasn't been much going on in BDO lately. We almost maxed out our horse at level 30. Not that, like, anything past 30 matters, but it's cool. Oh, yeah, if we're doing this, I should probably just... Oh, God. There's no flat ground here. Uh-oh. Oh, it worked! Jesus, it's almost like we're buffing for war for, like, rift bosses. By the way, you should just pop those, uh, Termian foods whenever you can. Just for the XP. Plus, you can just buy them from the NPC, so it's not really that bad. So this ferret one, maybe we'll get lucky today and get some non-garbage rift box rewards. Here, on, good. To be honest, I don't really know if Kudum helps more than Nuver in rift bosses, but I mean, I'm just gonna assume it does, so we're gonna use it. Mostly this boss, you just want to stand behind him. Get hit by the slams. Look at all those skill cooldowns going off. Jesus. I don't even look at that half the time. I should probably just turn that off. I don't even look at it. Are we even going the right way? Uh... I remember grinding here back like two years ago. It was not great XP then, it's probably not great XP now either, so it was fun. Oh my god, look at those icons. All 
All right, let's go to Comma Sylvia now. Do our most hated Rift boss. One second, let me check something. Oh yeah, so starting next week, maybe if uh, artisans go on sale or something, we'll do more enhancing on our bags gloves. We haven't. Last time it was not so great. We got a backup kudum now, um, so we could try to go for pen for that. But honestly, right now in terms of like gear progression, I'd rather have pen armors than a pen kudum. And. I know some Siege people use Kudum now in PvP just because, like, when you're in Siege, everyone's, like, 280 plus AP. And you just get one shot by everything, but I'm still doing casual, like, tier 3 node wars. So I think I can get away with Kudum more often. I will get all three boxes and open them at the same time. But yeah, starting tomorrow, the market is going to be flooded with nonsense or inflation is going to happen. Koi event, if that comes back. Honestly, I guess that's like... For me personally, like, the Koi events are... They come at the weirdest times for me because that's usually when I'm broke after some dumb enhancing or something and I would like to consider myself a fairly patient person so the money I collect from AFK fishing and whatnot it just goes towards upgrades when things go down so I assume like right now so right now Tet Tungrads are 10 billion in about two weeks from now Tet Tungrads are gonna probably be like 12 billion or at least 11 billion now, I'd like to make one myself, but that just, you guys have seen my enhancing luck. might actually have some relic scrolls to run. Let me check, actually. We got 16. That's three scrolls. No one really cares, but let me just check something real quick. You know, after getting a tier 9 horse, I've just been selling all my horse materials. At some point, it's like, I've been asking myself, do I want to go for like a Doom horse or Unicorn? The answer was yes, but also, you know, getting gear is pretty nice too. So I've just been selling it. And uh, hopefully, maybe in the future, like when we save up enough materials or something to go for a unicorn so I feel like by that time they'll come out with some new entire region where 
Valencia itself is not as great, and the unicorn will be irrelevant. But right now, I'm happy with the Pegasus. I always thought I'd be upset if I got one, but turns out it's not that bad. It could have been faster in terms of speed, but, you know, 161% for mine is... I mean, it was faster than my tier 8, so I don't actually know how much faster the high-end ones go. I was always stuck with, like, a 153% horse, and I thought that was good enough, so... Just having a 160 and above is good. Unfortunately, that is with gear, so I, like, low-rolled everything. We are actually going to, like, Alk stone this boss because I just want it to be over. Sometimes it double jumps. Trying to just like super armor into like everything he does, but it doesn't always work like that. One more, and then we can open all our boxes. I think Ronin should be close by. Those totems just kind of pop in at random. It's kind of scary. I've gotten stuck in it before. To the point where, like, you either have to uh, escape, escape out of it, 
for Traveler's Map. So for this boss, what you want to do is basically stay on his side, not in his front or his back. When you stay on the back, he'll do his back kick, so the side usually works. I was out of that. Weird. You know, of all this time doing uh, rift bosses, I've only gotten one of those remnant things. How much are they worth nowadays? 50 mil, dude. I remember when they were like 400 mil. <laughs> they bottomed out at 50. Yikes. I got mine from, uh, from a drop when they were about 200 mil, and then we used it to make our own black star. All right, let's open our boxes. Let's start with red. Red usually gives me Cronstones, but that's, you know, whatever. I don't care anymore at this point. I don't feel any emotions. Playing this game, enhancing, no more emotions. Oh, goody. Well, at least... One out of the three we got non cron stone, so that's a plus. Alright, what do we do now? Um Farms are fine. I wonder if there's anyone at Monchamps. We could go do the daily real quick. While we have villas and stuff going. Maybe when we get enough Tron Stones, we'll do another pen attempt. I think we have like 150, so that's kind of an awkward number. To the point where it's... it's an, I don't think that's enough for a Ted attempt, but we're like close to half for a pen attempt. No, get away from me. So 
anyone do people still grind here oh i think people do grind here it's okay i'm just here for uh dailies This is what oh, someone's over there. Guardian Stone. Honestly, these days I kind of wish people would just flag on you instead of being like, "Hey, duel for spot." I don't like. I don't care. Just freaking flag. I do wish they had like a different karma system so people would be more incentivized to just flag. And you know how, if you, I think everyone's experienced this at one time if you were ever like an officer or GM or something. Like if you're trying to deck on a guild and it's like, oh, this guild's not available or ready for war. It's like, what? If you're in a guild, you should be war like available for war at any time. You can't just grief people just because you're in a new guild so you can't get decked on. Even some of the newer people in our guild is like, if we get decked on, no one ever complains about it. Just deal with it. It doesn't matter if you're under gear getting wrecked by siege guilds. So yeah, I kind of wish it rework the entire like guild war system and change the karma system. Yeah, just having an entire new karma system where you don't get stupidly penalized for trying to hold your own grind spot is pretty outstanding. These ten color changed. Oh, never mind, it just didn't load in. <laughs> I kind of wish tents were something like I know you can hide them with F5 I believe but I kind of wish you just didn't see other people's tents like, straight up need 
more great warriors. So I think if I were to like actually change something, if you're guildless and like you try to like flag on people or they flagged on you, there should be no karma loss if you're guildless. Or no karma loss for the person. Like if you're trying to grieve someone without a guild, they shouldn't lose karma. Uh, I think it's just like I'm um, overkilling. Oh my goodness. It's a wizard. Usually I could take wizards easily in a fight, it's not that bad. Memoria gloves. Yeah, I'm just like overkilling spawn I and it doesn't help that there's someone else here. I'm just gonna find some other stuff. If I got a narc earring, that would be nice game, right? No, actually, don't give me a narc earring. Give me a. Uh, when I grind Star's End or something, or Histria, give me rare stuff. I don't want a narc earring. Take it back. I may have good RNG when it matters. Maybe this last thing will give me an arc hearing. Oh, just kidding. Uh, I would run Relic Scrolls, but I just don't. I don't feel it today, so we'll do it another time. Griffin elixirs are more expensive than Grim Reapers. Never thought I'd see that day, but whatever. That guy's got a Doom Horse. Wait, that is Doom, right? Yeah, that's a Doom Horse. Alright, with that said, I'm out for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.